Hi everyone, so in today's video I thought I'd show you what is in my bathroom cabinet. This is our bathroom here, I'll give you a quick tour. We've got the shower there with no door, then the sink, under storage cabinets, more cabinets, toilet, my cabinet, and then the bath. So it's quite a big room and um, I'll show you what's in, what I have in my bathroom cabinet. Now I've just organized this, it doesn't normally look this good. So on, I've got two shelves and I'll start on the bottom shelf. So the first thing I've got here is the Clarins Blue Orchid Face Treatment Oil and this is what I use in the winter because it is so, so good for hydrating your skin and it doesn't make you break out. So I put that on at night time. Um, here I've got my Swiss Clinic Rejuvenating Serum, which is what I use when I use my Derma Roller here. Um, I've got a video of actually my evening skincare routine, so I'll link that below. But um, yes, yeah, so I use that directly after I've used my Derma Roller. Then I've got the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery concentrate which is another oil um, that I sometimes will layer underneath a moisturizer if I don't fancy using the Clarins oil or to sort of mix it up a bit. Then I've got Clarins Beauty Flash Balm which is amazing for just brightening your skin up and waking up in the morning. Underneath I've got the Espa Refining Skin Polish which is the grainiest most amazing exfoliator. So I'll use that probably about two to three times a week. Up here I've got a little tester of the Declior eye cream and it's nice actually because it like brightens under the eyes as well, it's not just like a normal cream, it's got a bit of like a tint to it. So that's quite nice. In this little pot here I've actually decanted some of the silver, um, I'll get the original pot for you so you can have a look. Okay so this is the active silver which I've um, decanted into this little pot here and I first heard about this actually on the Daily Mail website because Debbie McGee uses it and I just thought she was amazing um, when she was doing the dancing so I thought oh, well if it makes her look that good I'm gonna try it so it says it's highly effective antibacterial antiviral antifungal solution so what I do is I spray it all over my face after I've um, cleanse my skin in the morning and the evening and I really think it's helped um, keep my spots at bay. So this is this, the pump is broken which is why I've decanted it into this. Underneath I've got the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream which is a new product I've just recently bought and it's just a really plain simple moisturiser but gets the trick, the job done. Um, so I really really like that and I also think, really like that. And then I've got my tweezers for any stray hairs. And then here I've got this sort of my ordinary products, um, the Abnormal Beauty Company is the brand and um, these are really really affordable, I think they're like five to eight pounds um, and they do all different types um, for sort of whatever your skin concern is. So I've got the Hyaluronic Acid which is really good for hydration, I've got the Advanced Retinoid 2% because again, um, if used correctly, retinols are really, really good for your skin and they can really help clear it up and they can help with wrinkles and spots and all sorts. Um, and then in here, I've actually got the, the Niacinamide 10% plus zinc um, and this is meant to be really good for spots again, so I tried that. I don't actually think, to be honest, that's made much of a difference to my skin but I had really good reviews on it, so maybe I just need to give it a bit more of a chance. And then here I've got the um, AHA 30% um, peeling solution, which is just like a sort of product you put all over your skin and leave it, and it like nibbles away at all the dead skin, so it's like a chemical exfoliant. It's quite strong though, so don't use that if you've got sensitive skin. But I use that probably about once a week. Um, behind, I've got the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7%. Um, so I'll use that every other day after I've cleansed my skin on a cotton pad. Just wipe it all over my face. Again, that helps with sort of exfoliating and spots. This is my all-time favourite eye makeup remover. It's like an oil um, biphase one and I just buy it in bulk because it gets all my mascara off, even my waterproof mascara. 
I love this micellar water as well. I use this just to take the bulk of my makeup off on two cotton pads. Um, and then I go in with my cleanser, which is the by Terry Cellular Rose Comforting Balm Cleanser, which I really, really like. Um, it's really sort of softening on the skin and gentle. Um, so I sort of massage that all over my skin, then remove it with a hot flannel. Got my deodorant, my Dove, which is one I always use. And then here I've got like my body oils. So I've got the Elemis Frangipani body oil, which is really, really nice. Um, it actually comes, well, it's actually melted at the minute, I think. I don't know why, but it, it's normally like formed um, solid. And then what I do is I just put it in the bath, to, like with the lid on, um, so it's under the warm water. And then when you get out the bath, it's all melted and you can just pour it onto your body and it smells amazing and it's really, really nourishing and moisturizing. And then I've got the Espa Soothing Body Oil, which is my favorite smelling oil ever. So um, that's really nice to put on after a bath and it helps you sleep. And then I've also got the Clarins Relax Body Treatment Oil, which is again really, really nice and relaxing. I like to put oils on um, at night time and then put a nice fresh pair of pyjamas on after um, over the top. Fun life I've got. Going up to the top shelf, I've got my masks and my body products and my tanning products. So first of all, over here we've got the Clarins um, Refreshing Hydration Mask. This is really nice to use after you use like a clay mask or like the AHA peeling from the ordinary, put this on over afterwards and it just sort of makes sure your skin's hydrated after like it's had a treatment. So this is nice. And then I've got the L'Oreal Revitalift Laser Renew, which is a peeling night lotion. I don't use this as much anymore, but um, because I didn't really think it had much of an effect, but my mum raves about it, so maybe it's better for like older skin. Um, so I've got that, and then here, I really, really like these. These are the Star Skin 7 Second Morning Mask, and they're like little pads that you take out and um, massage all over your face for seven seconds. Um, well, I actually do it for like 30, and then your skin is literally so bright and plump afterwards. I really, really, really like these. And then here, I've just got a little tester, which I haven't actually used, of the um, Diptyque Multi-Use Exfoliating Clay. So um, I'll try that out when I can. And I really like this Charlotte Tilbury, um, the Goddess Skin Clay Mask. It's really, really nice. It's a lovely clay mask because sometimes your skin can feel quite tight after using a clay mask, but this one doesn't make your skin feel dry. Um, it just hydrates it, but also like is really clarifying. So that's nice. And then again, another clay mask I've got is the Clarins Rebalancing Clay Mask. The Clarins Rebalancing Clay Mask, which is really nice as well, another good clay mask. And then underneath I've got the L'Oreal Pure Clay Glow Mask, which I do like, but it does make my skin feel really dry afterwards. Like I have to definitely follow it with like the hydration mask or, an, or my Clarins oil. Um, it does feel tight and it also does sting quite a lot when it's on my face. Um, it never makes my skin go red or anything, but it, it, it is quite, it does hurt sometimes when it's on. Okay, here I've got um, these two products which I think are amazing. I've got the Espa Triactive Advanced Night Booster. And this is meant to be mixed in a few drops with your normal moisturiser and then apply at night to sort of turn your moisturiser into a night cream. But I um, put it all over my skin and then I follow up with the Espa Overnight Hydration Therapy. And these two, literally, if you've got any dry skin, that will cure it. Like, it, they're amazing. They, What I do find when I use the overnight hydration therapy is it does leave your skin like quite tacky. Um, and I sleep in it, so sometimes you know when you feel like you're sticking to your pillow. But that's just a small price to pay. Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Again, I love this. This is lactic acid treatment and, um, again, another chemical exfoliator and really, really good. Love this. Um, really quite strong though, so be careful if you do have sensitive skin. Can tell I'm into my exfoliation. Um, here is a Clarins Gentle Refiner, which is really nice for just like a, if you just want a little bit of um, exfoliation, nothing too much. Um, it's not really that grainy, but it but it does um, sort of brighten the skin. Here I've got the Kiehl's Blue Astringent Herbal Lotion, which is what I put on any spots I've got, and it makes them sort of less inflamed and red. So I put that on at night with a cotton bud. And then at the minute, I'm using the Aveeno um, Daily Moisturising Lotion, which it's 
it's okay. It, it sinks in really quickly, so that's good so you can get dressed. But um, I don't know if I would repurchase it. Um, it's okay. I don't love it, but it, it does the job. Here, um, next up I've got my Factor 50 for my face. I always use a different one for my face for my than my body. Um, and I use, always use the Clarins one normally, or the Kiehl's. Um, this is really, really nice, really good, thick. Um, but sinks in sort of quickly, it doesn't leave like a horrible feeling on your skin. And then I've got my La Roche-Posay um, Anthelios 50 Plus Lip Sunscreen. So they're my two sort of like sun creams and then sunscreens which I've got left over from my holiday and then um, I'll buy like a new body, body one when we next go away in April. Here I've got the Espar Natural Radiant Gradual Tan which is really nice, I like that. Um, I like to mix that actually with my moisturiser, um, it's really nice. And this is my favourite, um, the Vita Liberata Self Tanning Gradual Lotion. They say gradual but to be honest you literally put it on once and you've got like a really lovely tan, I wouldn't put it on two nights in a row because I think it would be a bit dark but um, it is lovely, I use it, this is definitely my like go-to tan. This one is the Vita Liberata, the luxury tan and I use this on my face. And again, it gives a really, really nice colour um, and doesn't break me out, which is really important. And then this is the old classic, which I used to use when I was 18 and I picked up the other day. Um, the Sun Shimmer, because I actually thought when I was in boots, this is actually so good. Like, you just rub it on and then it divert it's there straight away. There's no fake tan smell. Um, so if you're going out and you just want to have like bronze your legs or your arms, you can just rub some of this on and then wash it off in the shower. The only bad thing is, is if it rains, you've got a problem. But other than that, it's good. Really good. And I get the matte because I don't like the shimmer look. So this is everything in my cabinet. Um, and then I'll show you what is down here. So this is my sample drawer. Um, I actually had a Declior advent calendar this Christmas. My, my husband got it for me, which was really kind of him. And so I've got loads of Declior products um, to try out. So I keep any samples I get in here, and then I can sort of look through it, and use a bit of an organization, look through it and um, see what I want to try. Um, I've got a few sachets here, I've got a Tata Harper. Um, yeah, and I can see anything that I want to try, or if I'm going away for a few nights, I can take sort of some of these bits rather than taking my whole massive um, full-size products. And here I've got um, my razor, which I actually do the friction-free shaving, the subscription box, which is great because it comes every month, and you get four razor blades a month, and they come in little things like this. So the first time you, you sign up for it, you get the actual razor. Um, and then each month after that you just get the blades. So I get four a month and it means I can basically use one razor blade each time um, I shave and it stops any sort of irritation, any bumps, any red bits you can get. Um, it's really important to have a sharp, clean razor when you shave your legs. So um, this is really, really good subscription. My husband actually does the men's one called Harry's um, and he likes it as well. And then up here I keep my perfume, so I've got, this is my favourite, the Diptyque L'Ombre Dons Low. It basically smells like their Bay's candle, bit of perfume, and I love it. And then I've got the number five um, Low Chanel, which I, I do like. Well, I, I haven't really used it much, so I obviously don't like it that much. I, I do, it just, sometimes makes me feel a bit sick. I'm a bit funny with perfume. And I've also got Jo Malone Nectarine Honey Blossom, which is in my makeup area. Um, but yeah, I just keep my perfumes up there and yeah this is everything that's in my skincare cabinet my husband doesn't get much space really does he but happy wife happy life so i hope you enjoyed watching and i'll see you in my next video bye